Okay, so Sam has actually uh, nicely asked me to come on and do this new series with him and he actually invited me on to do an episode about this and what I want to talk about is basically thinking outside the box with a lot of operators in this game, uh, you know, a lot of underutilized operators and different strats that you can use and it's really just thinking, you know, outside that box because sometimes when you get too comfortable with a strat, people start to learn it, people know that strat, it's a very common strategy and everything, it, it becomes easy to counter and so if you've ever watched my channel before, you may know the strategy I like to bring on Cafe Dostoyevsky uh, when we're defending kitchen uh, with castle. So obviously some people like to reinforce this main wall by kitchen going into bakery, reinforce prep wall and kind of stall time but let people take a bakery. Now obviously you could castle this off right here and you could obviously let them take bakery you know maybe lie down try and get some picks try and defend this wall and everything. It's a very viable strat you can do that. What you usually like to do is get someone playing bakery with a shield here get that wall there reinforced and then you're going to stall so much time for a bakery push and even as a fail safe you could have that bandit uh, reinforced with a bandit or a cade on it or a mute if this person gets pushed out they get killed they still have to struggle about getting wall and the person playing here has spent so much time and this is something that you will start to find the higher ranks you go and everything when this is reinforced but when you bring a castle with it you can defend this person playing here so much more so what i'm going to do is a way i really like to play castle on this site and it's really a way to think outside the box and especially with castle who in my opinion is one of the most underutilized operators in the game uh, you can really change stuff up so obviously i like to run the ump with angle grip and uh the 1.5 time scope and obviously the 1.5 time scope is a new feature that was added in uh the latest season uh the season before this operation shadow legacy and obviously i like to bring the super shorty the super shorty is an incredible addition to any operator and especially castle and i also like to run the bulletproof camera so of course you're gonna have this wall reinforced so the person playing behind bakery does not get shot from the small bakery window because obviously if they're attacking this window and someone's playing for bakery and this is soft very easy lines of sight to get there so obviously i like to destroy this as well break these so you can jump up on the desk and you want to kind of fiddle about with this bulletproof camera here so you can either put it on this side and i will show you that when you put it there uh, you've got the whole view and you can actually see into bakery the hallway the window and everything and this is my preferred side to put it you can also put it on the other side of this lamp there's nothing stopping you from doing so i just feel like you know maybe with the other side i feel like you get a better view of red stairs in coat check but then obviously with this side you get a better view of behind um behind bakery uh, bar so obviously there's a trade-off between if you want more view there or if you want more view there it really comes down to personal preference i usually prefer putting it on that side so we're going to have this side reinforced and you're going to actually place a castle barricade here so that person is then still going to be playing behind there and then you want to actually make a rotation here with the super shorty now the super shorty is an incredible use of making rotations obviously because it does not you know it doesn't really take much from castle's primary use he still has the ump say if you bring a smoke or a mute yeah you can bring the smg 11 but the primary weapon there is still a shotgun most of the time and you're going to be using main shotgun ammo for this for castle secondary weapon obviously is a super shorty it's not going to be taking that much utility away from him and you're going to have a rotate here so now when the person is playing behind here the only person they have to worry about is there plus you're going to have that bulletproof camera, which the castle or someone else by your site over there is going to be playing on and helping the person behind uh, bakery. So all they have to worry about is getting pushed from bakery wall. And that, you know, really hinders the attack on this site. It really takes a lot of time off them. So that would be reinforced. Uh, you got this rotation here. So if the person does even eventually push in, they've got all the call outs. And by the time they're there, maybe you can get a shot from prep and you can get the person playing there to divert their attention onto this guy and get the pick. Now, this is when Red Stairs comes into play. This is a coat check. Always destroy that radio, it's very annoying. And I personally like to barricade this window. And I like to barricade the door into bar. And I like to reinforce the bar wall. So now, obviously you've got kitchen. This should be reinforced. You've got people playing the site and everything. Now, usually, a lot of people kind of give up this hallway, and they rely on holding angles from a distance, like this, or you can go prone and hold like that, and play over here and stuff like this. People rely on kind of holding angles from sight and taking gunfights into this hallway, and obviously this is a hallway you didn't know what to give up, because they can come down here, push down red, they can get here, and obviously on the other side of that, you've got a uh, kitchen, you've got the whole uh, A bomb site, and prepped. Uh, coat check sorry is somewhere that you actually want to hold and take control of so we've got this castle barricaded we've got this castle barricaded you want a player to usually play around 
uh, brown stairs and the Christmas tree area and garage. You also want to hold that down with someone playing there. And obviously, fail safe if they get killed. You've still got the castle barricades. If they don't get killed or they get pushed out, they can still run away and you've still got these castle barricades. Now from here, you can actually play on cams and you can see you've actually got this bulletproof camera here. So like I said, I actually do like to put this bulletproof camera to this side. I just feel like it has a better view of the hallway and everything. So I'm just going to do that right now and uh, show what it looks like. So we've got that reinforced, castle barricade there, we have the rotate there for a uh, small bakery, and then we have code check, someone playing that other site to make sure they don't get the barricades, and finally, now I have this whole hallway on lockdown, I can call out if there's anyone pushing down red, I can call out if there's anyone pushing the window, also, if they have got a, you know, ranged weapon, they can obviously destroy that from range, but if they don't, they actually have to fully come up and destroy it, and that's why I place it up high as well, you can get picked from there whilst they do it, and the very good thing about playing in code check over here, or you could even play here, if you feel more safe playing here that's perfectly fine good thing though is you can see someone say someone's breaking the small bakery window you can say hey someone's coming in this window keep calling out keep calling out if they eventually push in you can swing you know you've got this entire entire hallway to play Obviously, you still have to worry about red stairs. You definitely still got to look out for sound cues there and everything because you can only hold so much. You've only got so much utility to hold so much. It's going to be given that they're probably going to either take, you know, cigar, piano. Uh, they're going to take a trainer, everything, or take pillars. You know, they have to attack it one bit. You can't hold the entire map down. It's impossible to do that. But it's really these, you know, these bits when they get close to site, you really want to hold this down because if someone's pushing down here, Someone could be playing there, someone could be playing there. They know someone's in bakery. They're really gonna be in a pinch. There's a bulletproof camera there and everything. They're not really gonna know what to do. And this is obviously gonna be in later round as well because by, by the chat, you know, by using the strat, most likely person behind bakery isn't gonna be cleared out yet. Unless they've, you know, peaked by accident, they've got greedy, they've went for a kill and they get taken out. They should still be behind this shield here and they should still have this on lockdown. And you're really gonna be having people trying to use utility to try and clear them out from here. So you're gonna be, uh, be using utility from the attackers, you're gonna be wasting time and everything, and you're gonna have this whole way on lockdown. And once again, if they do take bakery, that wall over here is gonna be reinforced and bandit it you're gonna have this hallway on lockdown and even if you want to you can fall back and hold these long angles and hold these angles from sight so you're really gonna be you know hindering the defense because even if you imagine if two people get picked off they're still gonna, not gonna have a lot of time to get the wall there'll still be bandit batteries on that they're gonna be rushing they're gonna be trying and getting everything done as fast as possible in these final bits and around and it's stuff like these just using the prep phase to your advantage and using operators such as castle who don't get a lot of love just like that can win around purely off time you don't have to be the best fragger in the world you can easily win around by playing it smart using what you have given to your advantage and you know keeping parts of this map contested it's all about wasting time you know uh, you could easily like i said barricade sites off reinforce barricade off that door uh, by prep and just hide in sight all match yeah that could work but most likely they're going to take bakery they're going to take hallway and everything and you're going to be fighting people pushing sight with still two minutes on the clock and the the, the likelihood of attackers winning that is going to be very high because they're going to have people above you're just going to get pushed out get caught in all the cross angles and everything and they're going to win the attack round so definitely look into making more adjustments with operators such as castle doesn't have to be castle as well you can make adjustments like this with without castle on this site you could play this strat without castle though i do think castle really brings a lot with the barricades for backside the little of camera and everything and a super shorty as a secondary weapon but this is like an example i always like to give for cafe uh, for bakery because i feel like it really shows off a lot and it's a very simple one that people can catch on to quick and i the, you know the whole point of this isn't saying you must copy this exactly it's to make you think outside the box you know have you ever really thought much of playing in this room and using it to your advantage probably not there's a lot of people who kind of give up this area and stuff like that especially in lower ranks you know uh, if you were maybe not the best at uh, shooting this is on pc and on console try and use more strats you know you can win matches without outgunning people you can do it by outplaying them outsmarting them and getting them in situations where they're not comfortable or uh, in and that's all you really want to do in stuff like this you want to change up your game you want to use stuff that people are not expecting so what i really want you guys to take away from this video is as a defender you really get to pick and choose which parts you give up to the attackers uh, sometimes it's inevitable that the attackers will take certain places but then it also comes down to how much time you're going to waste 
until they get to those positions. Like I gave the example of uh, Cafe Dostoevsky, when you hold bakery, there's a pretty high chance that that person behind bakery desk is probably going to get killed and they are probably going to take bakery control. But if that person has wasted a minute and a half, two minutes into the round, you know, the chances of everyone else winning that round is going to be so much higher than if you just gave them bakery to begin with. So you really have to think, you know, uh, what operators can I bring to further our gain of the map? Remember, attackers are going in, they have to find the intel, they have to know which site you're at, they have to know which con uh, sites you have control of. If they do not know that you have uh, control of a certain site, they not bring. They might not bring the right operators, they may push uh, sloppy, you may be able to get free picks and stuff like that. So it was really pushing yourself outside of that comfort zone because if you keep using the same strategies that everyone else is using, I guarantee you'll come across a squad of people who have seen it a thousand times before and they will just pick you apart easily because they know how to counter it. So, you know, you've got this whole map at your disposal, use it wisely, especially with operators that are underutilized like Castle. And uh, hopefully that will win you the round. But I want to thank Sam for letting me do this and I hope you guys did enjoy this. Uh, I'm just going to be doing, hopefully, I hope this actually makes you think that uh, you can do more stuff like this in different maps. Uh, like I said, this isn't here just to make you copy uh, what I'm doing in this. I want you to actually think about, you know, make you think outside the box, make you think, okay, I can actually maybe do this on a different map. and other operators and stuff like that you want to kind of get out of the comfort zone of doing the same thing because when you become predictable the attackers can easily predict you and you're not going to win as many rounds and i just really want to you know let people know that and hopefully get that thought inside your head that you can actually change up the way this game does not have a set way to play and you can always move outside the box so thank you so much sam for letting me do this and i hope you guys did enjoy have a great day everyone and thank you Till I get up, time is barely on our side